Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking FIFA 20, but not for too much longer because today I just want to talk about what I'm feeling and how I feel like the game is headed right now because it feels like FIFA 20 is seriously on the out and out and FIFA 21 is on the in. Of course, everything EA is promoting right now is just FIFA 21, FIFA 21, FIFA 21. And it makes sense, right? Because that is the next game that is upcoming. They want to get people hyped for that next upcoming game. But it still kind of sucks because we still are here with a FIFA 20. And they're still attempting to put out content. And I think, I'm going to talk about this a little bit in the video. But I almost think that if they were going to actually transition from FIFA 20 to FIFA 21, they just need to cut it off cold turkey and really just, like, seriously just cut it. Like, FIFA 20, just done, right? Maybe you throw a few cards in packs, but then don't put any else of content out. We're still in a promotion right now called the preseason promo in FIFA 20, and there's really not been much of anything. And again, I think that's why a lot of people are just done with FIFA right now. They're, go they're playing Fall Guys, they're playing F1, they're playing COD, Warzone. I mean, maybe some people are playing Pro Clubs, some people are playing Career Mode. It's just a lot of people have been now, instead of being in FIFA all the team, they've all just been kind of dispersed. And I really feel like we are at that time of the year where the FIFA 20 game is just on the out and out. You didn't really need me to tell you that, but I want to look through a few more things related to that today and also talk about uh, there was uh, some code added and even, even things that EA is doing or they're not doing with the market. The fact that team of the season cards right now, because of the 86 double plus SBC that came out today, all team of the season cards are like 75 or 80,000 coins. Like 80,000 coins for team of the season cards just to complete that one SBC. Uh, and this is all just down to EA not caring about their game anymore. And we're, we see that in multiple, multiple ways. And again, that's kind of what I've talking about today. Just why this game is basically, is basically done for, right? FIFA 20 is basically over. Now, first things first, I want to talk about some stuff that was put in the pack code tonight because this does affect FIFA 20. I'm still going to make a few FIFA 20 videos, uh, but honestly, boys, it's going to start winding down. I'm going to have to start trying some new things um, on the channel. I mean, obviously, you guys are even watching this video and have watched the videos for the past couple days after summer heat has ended and this preseason promo with like zero hype has begun. Uh, I appreciate you dudes because there's still some people that are, you know, playing FIFA and I'm still going to play some FIFA too, but... If the content is just not there and there's not a lot to do, then I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to, you know, put a lot of effort into something that is basically over and done with. So that's just kind of where I'm coming from. I appreciate all of you guys that some, there's a bunch of you guys that will just watch whatever I put up because you enjoy the channel and you enjoy having fun with me. And I appreciate that. So we'll see what happens in the next probably about a month or so before FIFA 21 stuff really starts to ramp up. We'll probably get more news over the next month, but uh, it might slow down a little bit, just kind of talking about that and just kind of being honest with you guys, right? Because it is that time of the year. You might see a couple different videos as well. Maybe some career mode, maybe some pro clubs. You never really know what you're going to see uh, because there's just not a lot to post right now with how the game is the way that it is. Anyways, this was added to the code last night and this was very, very needed because you need a team of the week card or a team of the week moments or a team of the season for so many of these SBCs that EA is putting out, like the 80, the 89 plus, the 86 plus, all of those SBCs you need a team of the week or a uh, team of the season card from. Right now, I believe team of the season cards are also extinct at like 70,000 or 80,000 coins, or excuse me, team of the week cards. Yeah, team of the weeks and team of the seasons are all like 70 or 80,000 coins, which is ridiculous that these informs are this high in price. And this, this is the part that kind of gets me about it, right? Like, Yes, EA uh, pays so close of an attention to the market for almost the entirety of the year. They pay attention to the market. They say, hey, you know, we're not going to update these price ranges because we want to do this. Or, you know, there's so many strategic things that EA does with the market, releasing SBCs at a certain time, putting stuff in the code, then not putting out that SBC or, you know, um, just so many manipulative things that they do. The dynamic pack weight, I mean, that changes the market all the time. Yes, that is a thing in FIFA. Dynamic pack weight is definitely a thing. It changes from time to time. But uh, this is kind of another one of those things that they really were not attentive to, right? We have informs that are 65, 70,000 coins, 80,000 coins at their very cheapest right now because of people wanting to complete these 89 plus and the 86 player pick SBCs. And also, 
Uh, I think like the Icon SBC, the Icon Prime or Moments SBC might require some of these cards as well. So that's why you're seeing such an... Yeah, you need Tots and Moments players for one of the Icon SBCs. And people are just full sending their coins right now into these SBCs because there's really nothing else to do. Um, so that's why you're seeing them go so high in price. And EA is finally realizing, hey, we're going to have to supply some of these cards onto the market. So that is what this SBC is right here. This needs to be repeatable. All right, this needs to be repeatable and it needs to be an 82 rated squad with nothing else required and like 30, 40, or 50 chemistry. That's it, all right? I don't care. These are team of the week moments or team of the week cards, right? These are two different packs right here. Any player from team of the week or team of the week moments from one to 43 and then in any team of the week or team of the week moments player. Um, technically, it's probably about the same thing. I don't know. This is actually, no, this is only one thing. This is the description and this is what it actually is. So it's basically a, a team of the week SBC for moments and regular cards. They need to add this in. It needs to be repeatable ASAP because if they're going to keep putting out 89 plus SBCs or the 86 double pluses with these team of the year and team of the season cards and packs. They have to, you know, help with the supply on some of those cards. This is what I tweeted out today when I saw this pack. I said, control C, control V, because we've had the same content in this game for the past two weeks. The past two weeks of this preseason promo has been nothing but road to the final cards that have been put out, which is kind of cool, right? And then uh, these upgrade packs, which cost a fortune, because right now, if you go look at SBC fodder, 83s are six, 7,000 coins. 84s are 12 to 15K. 85s are 20 to 25K. 86s are 35,000 coins for some of these cards. It's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. It just the, the lack of care that EA has about FIFA 20 right now. And I guess it makes sense, again, because they're trying to push their game. But this is like really just control C, copy pasta, copy paste content every single week. We haven't had any top transfer content. During this promotion of preseason, we haven't had any Champions League showdowns. I beg that we get one this week. I beg because we have Champions League. I'm pretty sure Champions League is today. I'm pretty sure we have, yeah, we have Champions League today. PSG and Atalanta. Can we get an SBC EA Sports? All right. Maybe you were waiting for the corner final matchups. Well, they're here. All right. We have a game today, tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. Please. Put out a Champions League showdown on SBC because it feels like you're forgetting about this game uh, and you're forgetting about the game that you promised us content on, honestly. I mean, you put out a, a promo page and talk about um, the FIFA 20 preseason promo and you put out content, but uh, you're not delivering on the content that you originally put out. And as you can tell right now, this is their motivation, right? If you go to their Twitter page, they're tweeting out multiple times per day, trying to get you hyped about meaningful moments i mean they're releasing one of these these big promo tweets talking about co-op talking about foot events talking about the pre-order you know get your pre-order in because you know it's only a couple days left to do that they're really trying to just push and push the fifa 21 stuff right now and if you go under these tweets i guarantee you all that you see is just people going at ea play together exactly all, all this stuff uh just people going at EA because just people are not having it right now, right? People are not having it because they're not happy with this promo. And especially after what they released today about pro clubs. This was the other thing I want to talk about in today's video. Pro clubs. They updated pro clubs. This literally will take you two minutes to read. The new things that are coming to pro clubs out of all the stuff they could have added. So many cool things they could have added to pro clubs. The foot stadium stuff they could have added. They could have added stuff um, with achievements. You know, so many more like just objectives and stuff they could have put into pro clubs. Like the opportunities are endless for this mode. They added an AI player customization, which is something that we've wanted, right? So now the AI players that you will play with, you'll be able to somehow manage them and I think upgrade them as you uh, go higher in divisions, if, if that's what I'm reading correctly. Um, and basically it's just really small editing things you can do. You can edit their last names, their first names, kit number, preferred foot, face, uh, and just, it's, it's all cosmetic, right? It is all cosmetic, the stuff that you can update on, uh, your, your AI players. I think they just upgrade with you automatically. So this is really just a, um, this is honestly just a cosmetic fix for the AI players, which I guess is kind of cool to an extent, but it's, it's such an L compared to what could have been. Then you can also update some tactics, which is nice. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you can set like the tactics that we have in foot. You'll have some of those tactics in pro clubs. Uh, so that is a GG. 
that is something that should have been added a long time ago as well uh, and was just added. But literally, that was it. That was it for FIFA 21 Pro Clubs. Pro Clubs is going to be the exact same this year, except for you can add some tactics and you can make all of your AI characters have the freaking afros and stuff that everybody puts on their players anyway. That is all that they added for Pro Clubs. Massive, massive. L. And this again is just, you know, we were thinking that we were going to get some sort of like reveal. So far, we've had the gameplay reveal, we've had the foot reveal, and now we've had the pro clubs reveal, right? Based on the other reveals that we had, it seemed like they were going to put out like, you know, a nice little video like they did uh, on their YouTube channel for foot and for the gameplay. Like they probably were going to do that for pro clubs and for Volta and for career mode. But with this release of the content of the pro clubs and the updates they're doing for next year, it just massively seems like a huge, huge, huge L, and it sucks because it, it it appears like they do not care about that that game mode at all. But again, it doesn't make them money, so why should they care? Because again, this is a business, and sometimes it sucks to understand that, but it is what it is, and you kind of have to think of it that way because this is a business in the end for EA Sports, and uh, they have to put the money where they make money, right? You want to invest in the part of the of your game or of, or of your um of your content or of your the uh whatever you produce thing that's going to give you the biggest returns that's what you want to invest in and that's what they're doing with ultimate team so that's why we're seeing just a lack of content of fever 20. now yes we did have the 86 plus pack today i packed alex tayez which is nice because i had a tradable one that i was able to sell because i bought a tradable alex tellez during uh community or during league of tots had it in my club for the end game so that was nice Got some coins back on that one. But it's again just super duper expensive, those SBCs, because of what they're the lack that they just they're lacking. They're, they're taking they have no cares for FIFA 20 uh right now at the moment. I would not be surprised if we didn't see a lot of content over the next couple days. So just kind of sit tight and, and buckle down. Honestly, this week's content has been a copy paste of last week. Hopefully, it, something changes for today. Um, but at the end of this week. The 81 plus double, the 82 to 88, the icon upgrade. And I think there's a couple other SBCs maybe. A lot of these player SBCs are expiring. Sarabia, Joe Bryan, they're going away in a couple hours. Um, but at the end of this week, all the upgrade packs are going to go away. There's a possibility maybe that EA releases like the 84 to, what is it? The 84 double plus and the 85 to 92. Maybe they might release a new version of the icon upgrade. Um, but I'm kind of interested to see what happens with, with that Team of the Week Moments pack from today. Is that really going to affect the market? The only thing you have to be worried about for that Team of the Week Moments pack is I would just go out and sell. Um, I would go out and sell your informs if you have not already. Is it going to push up like the index 82? 82s are like already 2,000 coins right now. Um, I don't think that's going to really do too much for the market. I think 82s are already... Uh, really inflated so it probably an 81 or an 82 rated squad for that repeatable team league moments if for some reason they make it 83 rated that's bogus that's going to be uh, that's going to upset a lot of people on twitter if they do that so just kind of watch out for that today sell your informs if you haven't already even sell your team of the season cards uh because they, they've only been requiring tots cards um team of the week tots team of the week or team of the week moments for these sbcs and i don't see them just requiring team of the weeks so I would probably sell your TOTS cards as well because some of these these TOTS that are right now selling for like 70, 80,000 coins are going to go down in price because the informs are going to go down in price and that's what you need to put into the SBC. So sell some of these if you still have them somehow in your club, uh, tradable. Uh, I would just kind of cash out on those. And be careful if you're trying to snipe some of these cards, right? Like all of these are going for 70,000 coins right now. I know a lot of people that have been trying to snipe these, but you can get you can get burned very easily because some of these guys are getting listed up for like, what, 70K? Where you see somebody get listed up for 50,000 coins, like, oh, it's a 20K undercut. I'll be able to sell them at 70,000 coins, right? False, because actually what you'll see is a lot of these cards don't have price range updates. So people will list a TOTS card or an inform card it'll come up at 30k when they're going for 70k and you'll try to snipe it and you're like yo man let me sell this for 70,000 coins when you actually can't because that card has a max price range uh, of of whatever it is that is you know way lower than the selling price of what that card would actually sell for on the market um, if there was not a price cap so again just be kind of careful with that since there is road to the final action and stuff happening today of course psg is playing so our boy marquinhos uh, I think is the only PSG on the market 
uh, the only road to the final item that is on the market that will be affected today. This is the one that continues to baffle me because his road to the final item continues to rise, man. Road to the final Marquinhos, who is 92 rated. This, this just still baffles me, bro. This is a 153,000 coin road to the final item right now on the market. Take a look at his Tots card. Take a look at his team of the season card who is in packs right now. 94 rated, so plus two rating. And it's 123k. It's 30,000 coins less. If you have this Marquinhos card, the 94, or the 90, excuse me, the 92 road to the final Marquinhos, please cash it out. Please sell that card because even if PSG win today and this guy goes up to a 93, do you really think he's going to stay higher in price than the team of the season that is 94 rated that has better stats? I really don't think so. So I would take the cash on this, just kind of like what happened with Goretzka, with Usman Dembele, and with Coman. Take the cash before the game starts, and then regardless of whether they they uh, they win or lose, you'll be making some profit on that card right there. But again, boys, that's kind of what I just wanted to talk about that today. Just like the whole FIFA 21 stuff is on my mind because this game is really, really slowing down, really, really dragging. Um, but I'm still going to be putting out content here on the YouTube channel. It might be a little bit different. Um, of course, if you have not down or if you've not pre-ordered uh, the game of ultimate, the ultimate edition of FIFA, you have a couple more days to do that. If that's something that you're kind of interested in, I guess. But that's going to be all for the video today, boys. All right. Enjoy the last bits of FIFA 20. If there's players that you still want to buy, just buy them. All right. Please just buy them. Put them in your squad. If you're still playing weekly, GG's to you. I am not. If you're still doing objectives, if you're still playing foot draft squad battles, if you're still motivated to be on foot, GG's. Don't let anybody else stop you. All right. Don't let anybody else stop you. And because the game is dying or whatever, just enjoy playing video games. All right. This is the time of the year where you just enjoy playing video games. Don't feel like you have to play FIFA. All right. If you're a person who grinds foot all year like myself, fall guys, you know, 2K PGA is coming out, right? 2K PGA. So that's going to be fun. Um, and just stick tight, boys. All right. We're still a couple months away. There's still Champions League on. You get your football fix there. And uh, yeah, just sit tight. Don't get too critical of FIFA 21 stuff just yet. We'll probably have FIFA 21 like beta stuff coming out in like the end of the month. So two weeks from now, we'll have more uh, information on that. Hopefully, uh, as they'll release more information about FIFA 21, just follow their uh, Twitter channel on, on uh, Twitter, the eSports FIFA Twitter. Follow me as well, right? That link is down below in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace. Out.